it's a beautiful day and uh, there's gonna be an overcast for too long a little bit chilly anyway um, heading out to the pit one day off Saturday and uh, taking advantage of it Dustin hollered wanted to go out there I can't pass it up um, I wanted to thank I got two people to my patrons Richard Davis which joined he jumped right up to the top tier thank you Richard and George Shaw George was a, a premium patron he jumped up to uh, a would you look at look at it tier which is the top tier and uh, uh, for the ones that know about the patron uh, the higher the tier the more entries that you get for our monthly draw but anyway um, trying to get things uh, buttoned up around here before we head out and uh, another thing I just wanted to show you Paulo this is right here this is from Terry Briner he has all kinds of gems and stuff in here and there's actually and he showed me there's actually real diamonds in here Really? Yeah, the little, you know, some of the one of your rings that's missing a couple of diamonds in them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if we can get that to fit. So that. Well, thank you, Terry. And another thing that was gave to me from Terry was these bottles here. He one was for me. He said he's giving one to Dustin. So thank you, Terry. This is awesome. I've been wanting to get one of these because you can fill them up, and this is what you can clean your mats out with, or you know, squirt your pan out with, or this is really cool. I like it. So, thank you, Terry. Um, I will leave a, a link in the description. Uh, if anybody wants to help support the site um, and want to become part of the... It, basically, it's one of the best patron families out there, period. Um, it really does help support the site. Uh, and, and also, in return, I have some really, really, really good uh, monthly draws. And... Let me find it. All right. One more thing before we get on the road. I've got a box here from Terry Briner. And uh, I know what's in it. And this is going to be, see what, this is April? So the end of this month, I, I do it the first of every month. So in May, I'll do my April draw. He gave me a box. Okay. He's calling this the Big T's Stimulus Box. And let me tell you something. What's in here? The clues I have. Well, I'll give you three clues. Gold, silver, something has to do with silver, something has to do with gold, and monetary value. And this is going to be one of the draws. So if you're a premium patron, you got a chance at it. Of course, if you are... Um, uh, at the super premium patron, which is the next level up, you get two draws, and at the top level, you get three draws. So, on top of my monthly draws that I'm doing, this right here, whoever gets this is going to absolutely love it. Thank you, Terry. This is awesome, brother. So, anyway, want to get in on it? All I can tell you is come check it out. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff loaded. I got to go in and get cleaned up now before I go get dirty. So, I guess until I get on the road, we'll be back. All right, we are getting ready to get back at it and headed to the pit again. Can't stop passing it up. It keeps producing gold and gold and gold. And, you know, as I always say, I got a bunch of hungry patrons. I got to keep them fed. But uh, Saturday, and it's already 60 degrees, uh, it's probably a little like about 11.15. So, getting a little bit late started. It's a little bit chilly this morning. I don't want to go to work sick, because if I go to work sick, I automatically get sent home. If I'm coughing with a fever, I get sent home for two weeks. I can't afford that, so better safe than sorry. I just soon wait till it's warm out. I keep myself dry today, put on my, uh, my uh, chest waders, and I've got the beast mode out today. I am... Uh, got to have the cup redone on my little uh, gold spinner so I've got my gold hog mini or I should say my wife's gold hog mini with I ended up first buying that flare extension and over the holidays uh, Doc had a sale going on so I bought the extension that goes in between 
the Gold Hog Mini and that flare extension. So pretty cool. And I got my uh, I've got my 12 inch Dream Mat. I'm gonna see if I can get that to fit in the in the flare. So it's gonna be uh, the Gold Hog Mini with uh, nothing but Dream Mat. So hopefully I can get that to work. Either way, if not, I, until then I still have the hog matting, which uh, the hog matting works fine. Um, but I prefer Dream Mat. To me, I think it works just a little bit better. So, either way, I always have my hog mats as backup. Doc does make a good product. You know, I can't knock it. It does catch gold. So anyway, um, one of the things I wanted to show that uh, Dustin does not know is... Uh, Terry Briner, one of my would you look at that patrons, he's at the top top tier level um, he had gotten some uh, some pit dirt and I can't remember if it was unsurged or or if he bought some of Dustin's gold or, or what it was when Dustin had it for sale but there is, and I don't know if you can see it in here or not, now you probably can it is a piece of gold, it's a specimen they found it. It was. It's on. The, it's on some quartz that we got at the at the pit, which is an excellent sign because now I'm going to be looking at my quartz rocks real good. And I get those quartz rocks, I'm going to save them and uh, run them through my rock crusher, which I left in Idaho in storage. I won't do that again. I'll be bringing that home. But I'm set up. Had to stop by uh, Tractor Supply since they didn't have a Rule King close. That's Rule King's my favorite place to go, but. Since I had to go the other way to where I'm going, they did have a track supply. Got me some buckets and uh, some lids. And we're getting ready to go. So, until we get to the pit, I guess. Oh, I was going to tell you too. And one thing I can't understand. I just want to make sure everybody stays safe. Keep, you know, what's what's going around. Keep your hands clean. Wash your hands. Um, you know, keep your what they call social distance distancing. I can't even say it right. Uh, what is it like six feet apart from each other? But for the life of me, I cannot figure out. I just drove by the hospital, Johnson Memorial Hospital. There was nothing, no cars or no nothing out in the parking lot. I don't understand it. Um, you know, you, you hear and see of cases in New York and all these other towns and and. Uh, I haven't heard anything about Indianapolis. Um, you know, they're, they're, they got all these restrictions at the hospitals. Heck, you can't even get a doctor's appointment. But the, the, if I can remember, I'll, I'll get a video of it on my way home if it's not dark, and I'll show you. There's, there's absolutely hardly any cars out there. It's just bare bones. So, anyway, just everyone stay safe. You know, it... Do what you got to do. You know, this is going to be over soon. Just like the H1N1 was back in 08 or 09. You know, the swine flu and the, all the other flus that were going around. It took them a while to get vaccines. For some reason, they're making a big deal out of this one. They didn't make a big deal out of the H1N1. And it had killed more people than what this one has so far. So, I, I don't get it. But everyone just be stay, uh, stay safe. And uh, we will come back when I get to the pit. Here we go. That's my view. All right, guys, we'll be back. Here I am. Made it to the pit. Oh yeah, there's the blue room. My favorite place. I'm glad they got one now. The last couple of years, they didn't even have one of those here. Man, they are, oh my gosh. Have any of you guys watched my videos before, I used to, this big equipment used to sit right here. And we used to be able to take off and drive, go straight this way. And man, did, oh my gosh, look at that. They've already got, They've already peeled off 10 feet. That's gonna be a huge pond when I get when it's all said and done. Wow. Holy cows. Look at that pile over there. Holy schmoles. Woo 
and Dustin is out. They look like maybe doing a cleanup. No, he's still running. Let's get out and find out. figure out where I'm going to set up. They've almost got that peeled off all the way back to here. They're really peeling that. Oh yeah. I remember we used to drive over there sometimes to come around over to here. Well, I gotta back up and get my stuff set up. I gotta figure out where I can put all my stuff at. I don't know where I'm gonna set up at. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Wanted to show you something, too. You have to come over here away from the noise. <coughs> Terry Briner. Terry Briner lives in Illinois. Yeah. He was the one that bought some of your gold, and I put it in, in some unsearched pit dirt and stuff like that. You never guess what he found. He wanted you to have this because this came from the pit. It's a specimen. It's an actual gold that's, that's hooked onto some quartz. Oh, wow. That came from here. So he, he mailed that to me, and he wanted to give that to you to show you that there's gold stuck on quartz here. And if you look at it in the loop, beautiful. That's what I need to do because that almost looks like a piece of rust in the metal. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a specimen. It's on quartz. Yeah, he sent that, and, and he told me, he said, I want Dustin to have that. Ah, sorry about that. I got a phone call, and I got interrupted. But anyway, he wanted you to have that. That's cool. And, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, so I got to hurry up and get set up and get to running, guys. And uh, we get to running or do our first cleanup or whatever we do. We'll bring her back on, and uh, we'll see you then. Here is run number one. Of course, right there is where I'm, I'm running. Already got a nice little section of it tore off Dustin's over there uh, doing his clean out I don't know how long we ran but I know we ran for a little bit but I run into all these brown looking rocks like I like to see I don't know what they are 
I know one of those are heavy. A lot of black sands. I don't see any gold yet, but I tried to run, I tried to put my dream mats in this new extension I got, but it's it's wider to fit the original, so I couldn't run it because I had a big gap, and then I tried to put my 12 inch dream mat in there, and it was, there was a big gap in it, so I couldn't run my 12 inch dream mat, so I'm having to run the hogs. What the heck? Holy cows, dude, look at this. Hey. I got a quarter. I dredged up a quarter. To, uh, I don't know, 19 something. I think it's silver because there's a lot of green. Silver don't turn green, does it? That is cool. <laughs> I'll have to, uh, See what year this is. Well, that's awesome. Put that in my pocket. All right. Well, is that your top mat? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll come over there to you. I was gonna shut it. Huh? You got some gold, huh? Say it's a deep hole right here. Well, let's just see if I can do it without falling and dropping my phone in the water. Oh, no. It's not bad, dude. Oh, yeah, it is. Almost fell there. All right. Not making too much of a noise. You got them brown rocks too. Let me see what's in that little bubble I had in there. Maybe I'm gonna throw them. I'm gonna clean my glasses off. They're all wet. I don't already see gold coming. babies. You got that one piece and she had babies.
Oh yeah. That's a little pretty. bit there. That's pretty. That is absolutely pretty. Man. Alright, well I'm gonna get mine top mat, get my dream mat out. And I'll get it in the tub and I'll have Dustin bring it back on. Oh my gosh. You guys can see that. It's just absolutely littered. Fly poop. All over the yeah. All over the place. All right, I'll get mine in my pan, and uh, yeah, when I get it ready to start panning it, we'll bring it back on, so we'll be back. Well, we found out what year that quarter was. It was a 1966. Gotta use this stupid round pan. Get some rocks, some red rocks. Amazing. Some gold. Oh yeah. Try to get as many dang red rocks out of here. It's gonna be good enough. Hey, what? Let me get some of this cleaned out of here. Oh, I might go right there. It looks. I think it's going to be a pretty good clean out. All right. Let me get rid of some of this. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a good one, boys. I can tell you that right now. She gonna be a good one. Hungry. All right, here we go. Holy cows.
Damn. Oops, excuse me. Darn. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Let's box that out of here. Almost got her, bub. There she be. It's loaded. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's a lot floating. And I did wash a bunch of it down. Oh, yeah. That's just off my, uh, yeah, look at that floating. That's crazy. All right, well, we're going to run in to town, back in town, and we're going to grab a bite to eat real quick. And we're going to come back out and we're going to get after it. So, we'll be back. See that right there? That's money. There's more money. Oh. I love this dry line dry nozzle. You got a leak in the valve, you see that? Yeah. I'll have to take it into work, see if one of the guys in maintenance can weld it up for me. Now you just buy a new valve and thread it on there. Yeah, I probably should. crashed on me once. Well, when that whole thing back there collapsed in, I said I'm done. <laughs> I got some good gold already from that first run. Oh, oh, you, got, oh, oh. you got to figure, when I first started this hole, it was, the dirt was all the way up to here. I mean, I've... Yeah, it mounted up pretty good. Peterson called too. Did he? Yeah. He call him back when you get done. I want to talk to him about them masks. All right. Well, while he's digging a hole, let's just see if we can see anything in my sweet box. Yeah. Sing over yeah. at the Yeah. Nothing yet. 
there. Oh, I see birdshot. Right down in there. A whole bunch of birdshot in there. See nothing big. can't see it. It's there though. Oh, there may be a little speck down in there. Where am I at? Find out in a minute. Oh. Hey, Dennis. Yeah. What do you call an alligator in a suit? An investigator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we'll bring it back on in a few. Gold yeah. <laughs> if it's not, then you blew out a ton of gold. I bet it is virgin. Because the, the days I came up in there and was first hitting that, I got dang it hard. I had a almost a six gram cleanup one day out of that area up there. So if it is virgin, you should have a lot in there. That's amazing. Pure black. Look at that. I think all the blondes are gone. Washing out a ton too. Oh, I know I am. That's all your mats, isn't it? Yep. Final cleanup. Grabbed all three mats. So you got two runs on the bottom two. Yeah. I cleaned the the first round I cleaned just the green mat out and that was it. Yeah. And then this one I got all three out.
it as far as yeah, I want to go say, down. I'd, I'd peel that back and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It is loaded on them ridges. Let me get up here and before I can start. see. Before I even start. I mean, it's. Oh, yeah. It's just. Yeah. Holy cow, dude. This is going to be. Be eh. it's floating. Don't wash that water out. It's oh. floating. I can't even get it all washed down, dude. <laughs> oh boy. I tell you what, I'm gonna get some of these rocks out of here. Look, I'm pushing gold. Look at all that gold. Holy cows. Absolutely amazing, dude. Come up. Yep. Roll it back a I know. I'm gonna get these out of here. Okay, here we go. that birch out there oh man there's some nice pieces in there yep holy cows dude that's a good pan ah quit floating it is floating everywhere holy crap that water's probably got so much birch I mean I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm getting these, some of these rocks out of here, dude. And I know there's gold here that I panned down. I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump it in the bucket. Just to. Just throw it back real quick. It'd be all right. All right, hang on. Let's see. That's the only problem with is. <laughs> Holy cow. This piece got mercury on it. Holy cow, dude. I'm telling you, I gotta get rid of some of these rocks, dude. I have to. They gotta be perfect. I know, don't, but that's just me. I gotta get rid of it and I can pan it a lot easier. First of all, I hate panning. I do too, but and I just and I know there's gold right there. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Because the patron's gonna get it anyway, so I'll let them do all the final cleaning. Okay, let me get rid of this. Goodness. That's much better. See? <laughs> There's so much. I'm panning so much of this down, it's not even funny. I know, that's how I do when I do mine. Would you look at that? Just look at it! Man, that's loaded. Absolutely loaded. Look at that. Look at all that floating. Holy cow, dude. 
That is amazing. Wow. Now look at it floating. You got yours? Like I said, everything I've done, I'm just going to fit in my top now. I don't care, it ain't going to be pretty. Because when I get it home, I'll make it pretty. There we go. Up in there already starting oh to yeah. Window. Uh oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of this just to show you. Here's the gold floating. Not yet. I wish. button. I mean, you, I've washed a bunch down, but the bigger pieces I washed down. Oh, that's nice. It's just littered everywhere. You go down there to the butt at the bottom. Oh, yeah. You kind of... That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Do what? I'm going to show her I can see that. All right. Well, we get this done wrapped up. We'll be back. I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure again at the pit. I got some really good gold for a patron for the end of this month on the giveaway. And I will leave a, a link in the description if you want to help support the site. Uh, become a patron and get uh, in on these uh, monthly uh, giveaways that I have, or monthly draws I call them. Just become a premium patron or higher tier and they get you in. Get you in like Flynn. Um, anyway, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And uh, give me a like. Love to hear what you got to say. And uh, for ones that are starting to get out and go prospecting, don't forget to, if you want want to order a gold claw and get the kit, if you type in code DD5, that's double D5, uh, in the in the coupon code and the checkout, I'll get you 5% off your order. And, uh, of course, if you want to order some pay dirt, uh, you can go to tomsgolddirt.com. And you know what? I said that backwards. Scratch that. The gold claw, you put in the coupon code IGH for Indiana Gold Hunter. IGH. And for Tom's Gold Dirt, for 5% off your order, pay dirt or whatever he has on the site, it's a DD5. I had that backwards. How do you like that? So IGH for uh, the gold claw and DD5 for Tom's Gold Dirt. And, uh... I don't know when to, maybe next week, and I don't know. I don't know when yeah, next we'll time. have to see how the weather plays. Yeah, see how the weather plays. Night, we might be back out here and hit some more of the stuff. I think we're starting to get into another good area out here. I got some really good gold today. Um, really good run. So I got quite a bit of material. Grabbed some extra buckets. I loaded up three more buckets of this material from that 
from that area we were in. And uh, anyway, um, that's all I got. I got, of course, thank Dustin for uh, bringing me out here. My camera dude. Yeah, sucky camera dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, until our next adventure, this is Dennis Dayton, Indiana Gold Hunter. Here it is. Sunday. I'm supposed to be meeting a couple of my patrons, and I ended up having to come into work. He's already checking out some stuff. There he is. Oh, what's up, D-Man? We got him right here. We got Terry Briner and George Shaw. That's right. Two of my patrons. Shaw Shank Redemption. <laughs> How you guys doing, man? Up, up. Nice to meet Good you. To see you. George? Hey, I'm glad to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. How you guys been? Oh, long drive, long drive. Long drive. How long actually how how long was it? 298 miles. Golly. <laughs> 298 miles. Yeah. About four hours and twenty minutes. Wow. That's a long drive. Yeah. Yeah, I got called in. Sucks. Oh yeah. Well, I had an option, and because we're you know shorthanded, and we had to get this, had to get out today. Yeah. So it was pretty much come in and make double time. Can't beat that. Or pass it up. or if I turned it down, had to come in at midnight and make eight hours of straight time. I said I, I'll come in. I'll make there double time. So anyway, I just had to put it on there just to put on the end of my video. What's up, guys? So this so this <laughs> is uh I didn't I didn't do it yet because I was waiting for you guys to show oh, up. So. Here we have it. Sweet. All we right. Made, we made it. We'll catch you all later. <laughs>